Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was working on a project today and had a little trouble doing it, and I thought I'd actually made a video on how to do this. This is a, going to be a picture frame to hold a picture for a new baby. I've got my nudge factor set on like 0.25, and so I can move around a little quicker, but as a matter of fact, for just a second, I'm going to change it back to 0.05. Get this a little closer. And that's about what I want. I want the strength to hold this. And now I'm going to put my nudge factor back because I'm going to use it quite a bit here. So what you want to do, and you can see I've been running different ones, but let's make a, a complete copy of this. Let's make a duplicate. And just in case you do something wrong and you can't get back and but this is how I would do it if you want to, well, matter of fact, we can move that out of the way for a second. That's the outside of the frame. If, if you wanted to cut this out before you weld it, you're going to want to put some lines, some engravable lines, so the letters kind of flow and show out. So before I'm going to cut it out, or before I'm going to weld it, I'm going to make a complete duplicate of it. Now I've got my nudge factor set pretty high, so it won't be in the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and weld this, and it's going to be back minus front. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my this one and put it in the center of the page. Whoop. Well, this, get this one out of the center of the page for a second. Put our frame in the center. Group these two things together put them in the center. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to smart fill the, the uh, inside of the frame. I'm going to move it, move the smart fill away. I'm going to right click and I'm going to actually go down here and change this down so I won't forget to change it to one point. So now you can, you can basically move this out of the way. That's your copy put this in the center of the page there's our frame we'll go ahead and put it in the center of the page but now what you're going to want to do is take this and convert it break the curve apart take away this I hit hit the then what you're going to do I'm kind of getting out of school here this is the one we want to keep this is the one we want in the center of the page. Now put this in the center of the page. Hope I'm not going too fast for you because I just did this myself and I'm kind of learning. So take your virtual segment delete key and we're going to delete these lines we do not want. And it's also why we made a copy is because it deleted, it's deleting our cut lines too at the same time. But just go through here and cut these lines out you do not want. And that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is just select those lines. And you can see it's still got something up top. Cut that away. So now you just have those lines. Now we can delete this. Go and get our real copy. Put it in the center of the page. Put this in the center of the page. But now we're going to, because our, well, that might have messed us up, but we can always change our nudge factor, but we're right on. Got lucky there. So let's see, if you can see what's happening, this is gonna cut out, and this is gonna make it look like the letter that you part you're not cutting out, because there's no cut lines behind here. So the, the laser is gonna cut this out, so it'll look like that but this is going to be engravable and see i'm i moved it without doing my nudge factor so just set your go off your screen set your nudge factor a little lower and just pop this back 
there you go. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this in the laser and you're going to want to engrave this first. Do a combination job or do two jobs, but <clears throat> go ahead and engrave that. And you can see I'm not perfectly on there, but you want to change that. And you can see I did a couple of them today. Thinking the taller letters, I kind of stretched it out because it's, you know, it's got quite a few letters in the text. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.